Welcome everyone to uh, episode five of the Card Fighters Couch. <laughs> Aww. This might this is gonna be chaotic. Hey, yep. Uh, well, I'm your host Ayrton, and I have two lovely, lovely. Well, actually, no, one lovely person, Mister Mister Squash Peas over here. Hey yo, how we doing? And then I've got uh, Ro Tanks. Hello, how's it going? I, I'm Tank. Mm, mm. Thank you for having me here. So, I believe we have not had Mr. Peas on here before at all. Yes, indeed. So and neither me. You, you have haven't. Two newbies. Oh, you haven't been on either. Yeah, no. no, neither of us have. Why did they decide to let you on when I'm hosting? Yeah, um, they they didn't plan on this. I'm pretty sure that they specifically said not to do this. Well, here we are. All right. So, uh, why don't you introduce yourselves? Um, we'll start off with uh, uh, we'll start off with Mister Rotanks this time because uh, he's not the lovely person. We'll finish oh. with the lovely person. Damn. Tell us a bit All about right. yourself. Uh, Hello, maybe me, some of the me name, Yeah, me name Rotanks. I I play Neo Nectar, and I play you Green. And recently, I play Shaman King. That is all. Is that it? Is that all your introductions going to be? Bro, what else am I meant to say? I'm a one-trick pony. Hmm, what about... What's what's your favorite card? In You're putting him on the spot here. Yeah, I'm putting you on the spot <laughs> right here, right now. Eugene. Is it actually Eugene? Yeah, listen, you ask me in like a month's time, I'm going to say a different one. Ask Karyo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love your Gabba Gabba. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. How about you, Mr. Peas? What is your uh, introduction, your self-introduction, please? Yes, hi. I am I am Squash Peas. I'm that guy on Twitter who really hates premium for some reason. I play Nova Grappler, and a lot of it. As of late, I've been playing every Stoikea deck under the sun. Uh, if I had to pick a favorite card in all of Vanguard, that would be uh, Mr. Extreme Battle of Victor. Ooh. Mr. True, this man does love Victor. I do the indeed. Yo, you, where is the Xander's at? Uh, don't <laughs> remind me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, where your where your paratroopers at, bro? Uh, bro? I've got them. I've I, I can I can walk walk to um like Ikusan or something like on the weekend and pick up my paratroopers. Sam, look wow. at this man just being like, "Yeah, I live in Japan. I have promos at, on time." Yeah, he's flexing being in another country. That is I so have, cool. I have access to all the promos I need. Are they cheap? Yeah. Debatable, but at least I have them. Yeah. You also have access to, you know, your five k yen triple R. Wow. Ooh. That five k yen triple R that I had to yeah. buy for an event that we will be talking about a bit later. <laughs> mm. uh, anyway, so, well, for episode five, we actually talking about topics. Um, we've got a couple of topics to talk about today. Um, so all three of us here like to collect high rarity cards in one way or another. Shimmer is what they do. <laughs> Shimmer is what they do. Indeed, they do. Um, so yeah, our our, our, um, our decks that we like to max rarity. Any negs we take, I mean. If oh, we've God. taken any negs. <laughs> I mean, if you're high rarity in, like, very soon I was released, you're going to be naked regardless. Uh, <laughs> uh, we'll be talking about some um, BCS and WGP preparations and some news on that. And mm. we'll be talking about product releasing. But we're recording this before the product stream, so we actually have no idea what's coming up. Yeah, we're going to be spitballing, saying like, bro, we're going to get Shaman King for you free. We're going to get Token Rambu 2023. Yeah, uh, we're going to get Hall in English. We're going to get Hall Live in Vanguard. I mean, yeah, bro, next product stream is going to be wild. Nah, they're yeah. going to do a um, Hall Live collab in uh, Vanguard Zero JP. Oh the, my god, the, the third collab? The, the rumored the, third collab. The rumored third collab. <laughs> since, December, since December 2020. <laughs> it's been it's, it's really it's been almost this two long. Years. It's been nearly two years, bro. Oh, oh okay. Geez. 
All right. Uh, so should we talk about what how we all did at locals recently? Yeah, sure. Why not? All right. He's all like, right. Uh, we just start Mr. with Mr. Pease, I guess, since he was the one that actually played at locals here between us all. Yeah, I'm uh, true. Yeah. Yeah, and I uh, came. There was a championship for locals, and uh, your man's came first with Kyrie. Yo, Kyrie, Kyrie real? Yeah, Kyrie gamers real. I maintain that that is still like the best deck in the format. Real? Yeah, with uh, with his spicy front as well. Oh uh, yeah, front trigger is very good. Proving mm-hmm. that I just don't know how to play a multi attack deck for the life of me. Yeah, if had you played Nova Grapplers, bro, you'd know how to play multi attack. Oh, true. He, he he has a, he has the experience. Yes. And this also after that. what two weeks of Kyrie? Yep, two weeks, two tops. Though against all the Bruces and Graffitias at locals. Yep. And I'll beat them all down. Give them the good old Uzumaki barrage. Yep. <laughs> uh what about you, Mr. Tanks? I mean I also did go to our locals at New York Monday and Tuesday tournaments. Ooh. On, a, on Monday, I did end up taking second with Eugene with a good old 2 1. The Magnolia 6 damage shield against me, top card. Oh no. <laughs> no. And then uh, on Tuesday, I went 0 3 with Lysurg. <laughs> what deck? With our Lysurg, one of the new Shaman King decks. Because I was oh. allowed to since I bought two entire sneaks of it and built the deck. Hey, look at you, Mr. Sneaky Boy. Buy yeah. Mr. Sneaks. Rich Man. Sneaking yeah, everywhere. Stonking. Stonking out here. Got all the Shaman King decks now. And then, Anton, yeah. did you have any local experiences over the past week or so? Okay, so, so I've had... <laughs> I've had a... Um, I had a... What, what day is it? It's a Wednesday today. So, yesterday I came second at Oyo Loco. Um playing Kyrie, the same yeah. Kyrie I played on the weekend of the WGP. Um, so I did pretty well overall. Uh, like, uh, as per usual, um, at the Oyo Loco, I will always do well until the final round and then just eat eat absolute ass. Mm. Yeah, I also saw that you didn't eat absolute ass in the PR range, didn't you? Mm. Oh, um, <laughs> oh, the PR range. Um, I won Junken, so I got an extra PR pack, but I've opened the what? Was it Greedon? Yeah. Greedon has a. Oh, weird... didn't you also pull the foil rare order there? I didn't pull a foil one, I just pulled a regular one. Oh, well, isn't that still like a decent amount? Look, I'm collecting them for a friend because he wants to build a deck. So, oh, fair. Hey, I asked him. Respect. All I ask is for a drink. I just go up to him, like, here's your, here's, here's your foil roll order and your normal one. Buy me two drinks and I'll be happy. Two Slurpees. Yep. This man I mean, is truly great. So I've been doing the same with a lot, of, a lot of these promos recently. Just buy me a drink. Just swap me a card that I want that's probably worthless. Just, yeah, <laughs> I don't want to deal like, with this. You don't want to do the headache of being like, oh man, should I charge you like five, ten, or even go like, just slightly underneath what stores are selling for. Mm, yeah. You know, that's why it's normally just with the mates. Give me a good old handshake and you have it. Mates, mm. right. Got Two feet in a Otherwise, wristy. just take it, please. <laughs> please, take the card. I don't need it. Mm. Take the but, card yeah. before I scam someone else on the trades page. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh... I will overcharge them because you do not take this. <laughs> uh, punishment. <laughs> Snake eater. <laughs> Still in a dream. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, but I will also talk about my um, WGP experience later in uh, later in the session. But mm-hmm. just know that um, I, I think I think I did pretty well at WGP, yeah. considering it was my. Right. Very, very first in person official event. I think you also yeah. gamed pretty hard, you know. Yeah, you were doing a bit of gaming, as some people would say. Yeah, you did a, very well. Bit of a gamer. Gamers yeah. do be gaming. But anyway, so <laughs> that's our that's our local experience. Yeah. But do you know what else gamers will be doing? They'll be maxing out their decks. 
<laughs> Sorry, I just had a, I had just had a, like a yeah. flashback for when I was doing Bermuda shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh uh, you, yes. you don't, you don't like your four SPD trial before you, the ban list. So yeah, um, I'm talking about Max Rooney decks that we've uh, done. Um, <laughs> you know, we should start with why we Max Rooney first, and then head on to our, how hard we ever negged. Mm. So. I'll, I'll start not. with this one. I'll start with this one. So, uh, I bought one copy of uh, Top Idol Riviera in SP, and I'm like, damn, she looked kind of cute and comfy with that hat and the pink winter coat. And then I ended up buying, like, um, one more, like, eight months later. Just out of no... I was, like, looking on TCG Play, like, literally every day for, like, eight months. And I was just about to start... More. Yeah, just to buy, just to buy more. <laughs> it was, it was actually, I think it was like six o'clock in the morning. I was, I was like in the car park at work, like six in the morning, car park at work, because I had like a really early shift, and I parked behind a coworker uh, who had the lights on. I was just like, okay, they're a bit early, so we were waiting for our boss to get in to open the gate, the side. I look on TCG Player, I refresh the page, and I see. Uh, one top idol Riviere for like two hundred and thirty US dollars. Yeah, that was me, by the way. Um, and I'm like, I did the math. I'm like, I work today's entire shift. I get paid this much in AUD, and I'll have change. Bought it on the spot. <laughs> I hate I think... how like that's also how I've been thinking about some SPs recently as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, just, <laughs> just you know, oh, those SPs that converts about a day's worth of work. That's fine. Hey, look, I didn't have any other worldly uh, problems to think about, so yeah. my worldly problems at that time were like, oh, when's the borders for Japan going to open up so I can <laughs> yeah, work? And actually work there for a change, yeah. Mm. So yeah, that was um, my spiral down into um, buying high rarity stuff. Mm. Mm. Alright, I How guess you I'll boys? be next then. So yeah. The way I spiraled down into this rabbit hole all began in Awakening Sue. No, before Awakening Sue, actually. It was like, when I was getting back into Vanguard, I picked up an Arsha trial deck. I'm like, wow, this deck is pretty. I pulled the hot stamped Arsha. This is the reprint trial deck. So the trial deck 11. And I pulled the hot stamped Arsha. I'm like, wow, this is really pretty. The new Grady Free Arsha that I released at the time, Searing Car, was awful. So I was told, oh, don't buy that one. Just buy, like, any of the shinier old ones. So, Vanguard Singles had a copy of the GBT-06 Secret Rare for about 100 bucks, And 15-year-old me was like, you know what? I'll buy it. Jesus. And that was all my birthday money. Well spent. <laughs> yeah. I spent, like, all my birthday money as a kid with no, like, income on, like, blinging out Asha when it was horrible. You got What's changed? Uh, what changes? I bling out Eugene now. <laughs> on that, would, recently, you say that uh, yeah. would you say I that mean, Eugene recently, at present? Yeah. I, think, I feel like the Eugene Fist is better because, you know, I buy generic... Dragon Empire Crypt SPs. I'm like, I can just pull these in Nirvana and then have a good deck with Bling. Could I do that in the No. Yeah, also, Squashed Peas. What about you, buddy? Ah, so my one was actually a bit, uh, a bit more tame than you. Well, yeah, a bit more tame than you guys, let's say. Because uh, me, I get back into Vanguard, like, I was sort of on and off for the entire game. And then, like, get back in around GBT-10, because I'm like, oh, yo, Victor's getting support? Heck yeah. So I go into Neko, our local switch is, and then I'm like, you know what? I need something to tide me over until I can get everything else I need for Victor. Bought two Night Rose TDs. One of them had the hot stamp. And then a friend of mine who was pulling some boxes to try and get stuff for his Gurgwit, uh, he pulls an SGR favorite champ. And the rest, as they say, is history. <sighs> So I see a correlation between both you and I, where we are both put a hot stamped card in our trial deck, and that signaled, "Hey, start max rarity a deck." Yeah. Um, oh, shiny cardboard! Ooh. Yeah, shiny cardboard! Wow, 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 wow! As they say, shimmer is what they do. 
The shimmer is what. That, yeah, I see. I see that. I see that shiny cardboard. I see that textured cardboard. The neuron in my brain activates. Monkey, monkey, monkey neuron, neuron activates. Neuron monkey activate. energy, bro. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, <Definitely>. Gotta love it. <sighs> Actually, on that point, since you guys opened opened um, hot stamped cards, do you remember what your other like high rarity stuff that you, like your first high rarity card you opened can be. Oh like, yes. Like, oh. do you remember your first triple, your first SP, etc., etc.? Oh, all right. So first triple was oh, I went to game trade as a like high point or something. Bought three packs of a uh, set one. This was during like the end of uh break right. So Chaos Break had just finished releasing or Glendius or whatever. <laughs> And we're heading into Legion. I see you said one. I'm like, oh, wow, that's so cool. I'm going to buy three packs. I, I pulled uh, Alfred Triple R, Ashura Kaiser, and CEO Amate Rasu in, all, in those three packs. Oh, Jesus. Very and then good. I go to the sneak, and like two weeks after for uh, BT16, Alice are things safer. Yo. What a game. Like, oh, wow. Uh, and I nearly, when I came back to G, I nearly became a uh, a Seeker player, but Seeker didn't get any support, so I'm like, never mind. Yeah, and also, Mecha didn't have any old Marv child, except when he had Arshaw. Mm. Wow. Stock issues yeah. have irreparably ruined this man for life. Yeah. I could have been playing Royal Paladin a decent deck. Uh... Decent is a subjective term. Yeah. I yeah, got so, Jewel Knights now, so... Yeah, Jewel Knights pretty good, but... Anyway, yeah. so what about others, like, first high rarities? Mr. Pease, do you remember yours? Well, I mean... Yeah, it was uh, opening some packs of BT1... Um, back when the game first came out, actually. Back when I was... Yeah, back when I was still living, like, with my parents back in high school. Like, walk in, buy a couple of packs of BT1, you know. Oh, yeah, cool. These guys look kind of cool. Oh, this this robot of Shurikai's are looking kind of sick. And that's why I'm an overgrapple player today. <laughs> I saw the arms. He's like, damn. He can yeah, I saw the arms. Those. I saw the weapons. I saw that it was an 11K when everything else was a 10K. I'm like, oh, <laughs> my kind of card. My kind of guy. Wow, it has a good fangard number. Yeah, I know, right? Your 11k? Yeah, and then having to wait till next set for my uh, perfect guards uh, kind of hurt. No, and then you saw, like, oh, uh, what's it called? Beautiful Jack. And you're like, I mean, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I mean, Genocide Jack. And like, yeah. wow. Yeah. 12k? Yeah. Wait, or 11k? It was 11k. Was he 12k in OG? No, he was 11. No, I'm thinking of Zero. Zero yeah. was 12k. Yeah. But yeah, no, just, yeah, so that's why I started playing Nova Grappler. Helped that I kept pulling all the high rarity stuff for the other clans, so I could just trade them off. <laughs> Damn. Just catch a flex of, oh yeah, and just pulled all these high rarities I never wanted. Oh yeah, that, that, that's, that's just what I do. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, what about oh, you, Star Eternium? Damn, bro. Um, well, I remember my first triple rare. Um, my very first pack of Vanguard I ever bought was a uh, BTO1. Around uh, around when the game also started, back in the rat. Whoa. Whoa. I think I picked up my Aichi trial deck like a week prior, just to mess around mm. with um my friends in high school because my friend introduced it to me. We started playing around. I'm like, okay, okay, this is cool. Let's go into the game store and pick up packs. Um, turns out I didn't bring enough money with me that day, so I could only buy a single pack. So I'm like, oh, can I, just, can, can I get uh, one pack of Vanguard, please? Exactly what I said. Can I get one pack of Vanguard? Mm-hmm. And he's like, okay, here. Yeah. It's like, oh, back in the day, I think it was like $6 for a pack? Uh, I yeah, it was remember. around 5 to $6. I can't mm-hmm. remember. Anyway, so I go up to the I go up to the, the, the table, and I'm like, okay, cool. I just I pull open the pack. Start looking through the cards. I'm like, oh, this card looks pretty. Um, Didn't realize at the time, but I pulled out <laughs> an Amateras as my first ever card. Oh, Sam. <laughs> The one pack, the one pack champ, one pack yeah. champ, and um, we all just out, out here second BTO one packs. Yeah, sack BTO one and open good triple rest. Mm. 
Except I never became an OTT player. Yeah, and the thing was that when I pulled them, they were extremely outdated. Yeah. Oh, what are you talking about? Alfred was the best card of all time, bro. True. He's the, he is the king of knights, man. That's Actually, the card I, I was going for. Wait, no, I couldn't even play him with Ezel because Ezel didn't release until G. <laughs> We're talking about oh, the Legion Ezel, no. by the way. The one with two sets and two L's. Yeah, Ezel, bro. Ezel. Ezelius. And no, I could have played the CEO Amaterasu Legion. Damn. Oh, could have played no. Okirume, man. Yeah, damn. One was... Man, Wait, you guys got you... Legions? Wait, no, wasn't that Amaterasu the uh, Goddess of the Sun? No, it was regular. It was regular. Oh, so, it was regular? Oh, damn. Yeah. Because I, I remember I specifically been. going out of my way to try to build a pr uh, premium Legion deck for a friend of mine. And it was the single most horrible thing I've ever had tried done in my life. That was a <laughs> sentence I said in English. Yep. Trying to find, like, a B tier of one card. That no, I think it was, was only reprinted once. It was a C. It will, we'll do it on CFA. Right. Oh. And it was just the single most scoffed thing I've ever tried building in my life. You know what, fair? You gotta love it. That's a story for another day. Well, so speaking about CFA, I, I want to like kind of talk about market prices. CFA was a godsend for me when starting Vanguard. Because I couldn't afford like my $20 strides. So oh. I just went on CFA and like, I... Play test with a friend. I'm like, oh wow, this is how the deck's meant to play. It's good. Yo, no restrictions, no no uh, monetary restrictions. I can actually play the deck how it's supposed to be played. So this Yo. is what it feels like to have my stride arches in the deck. I can <laughs> hit and draw four and soul charge four. Gamer, what a gamer, bro! I hey. love Madrid of Warney. Do you want to see me deck out? Want to yes, see me do please. it again? Yes, yeah. please. Just take no. my rear gut swing. Just take my rear gut swing. <laughs> take yeah, my rear. You wouldn't. My rear gut is only on hit, draw 11, soul charge 11, where I have to go draw, soul charge, draw, soul charge 11 times. Brilliant. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Yeah, that was because, like, you know, I couldn't afford my expensive strides, and back in the olden days of deleters, I couldn't afford my $20 PGs and $10 oxes. Yep. I was a jobless man back then trying to also play Thing Saver. Do you jobless know how many Thing Saver I had in my deck? Exactly one. one. The one Legion rare. Better than none, I suppose. <laughs> it was so dumb. <laughs> Actually, Go talking on. about Legion rares, what are your opinions on uh, of like other like rarities, like SP Legion rare, like SGR, the new SPs, and whatnot? Like, what what rarities were there? So, like originally there was Damn. the SP was like the highest type of highest, yeah SP right? was the highest, and yeah. then like the Lendus had reverse triple R, which was just triple R but reverse. Yeah, reverse hollow. Yeah. Yeah, I, it was like it was just labeled as a verse triple line, had no difference if I remember correctly. Was it yeah. one per case or something? Yeah, it was one per case initially. Yeah. Uh, I will uh, say something like I like while I do like the text box list SPs, there was always something about having the SPs with different flavor texts that like was always like, oh wow, that's so cool. Yeah, that was so cool, man. Different like, flavor text and different foiling, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, it was like 2014. I I was given a uh, DP trial deck. I took that to Nats with me. Uh, this was like what Stri I think Stride was just starting. So it was 2015 actually. Some dude was like, "Hey, take a uh, take this SP original saver zero and like some other random DP stuff I have." I'm like, "Oh wow, this is so cool!" Because I looked at it, and I was like, "Wait, this one's textured, ribbed for your pleasure." Mm -hmm. ribbed for my pleasure so I can be like oh well I'm going to ride original saver zero go not break right into die kaiser go yusha into reverse die yusha oh strong he is and I only beat one deck of that for like all my childhood before I stopped playing until gbt10 <laughs> oh, uh, yeah hmm 
So uh, there's like, sp- like old SPs, new SPs. Yeah. Old SPs had like that flavor text feeling that made them a lot better. But like if we're talking solely in appearance and like ignoring flavor text, then I would have to say probably the probably the old version of SVR where it wasn't based on the clan but on the unit. Mm. So you like how Imperial Daughter SVR had green and like all I, that stuff. That to me was very pretty. The Imperial yeah. Daughter was really nice. Like the scans of that card don't do it justice. Yeah, it looks like, so pretty. I think that's just with a lot of like high rarity cards like, oh wow, that looks really ugly and you're looking at person like you know what? I was maybe a bit too harsh. Yeah. I'm gonna I now st- buy you. I still stand by my statement that uh, VS, uh, VS, uh, VS, oh no, SVR Sukuyomi is still not that good. I think it would have been nicer if it was like the rest of the ride line with SPs. Uh, I think. Wait, what color was SVR Sukuyomi's background? Orange. Gold. The the orange. Yeah, it was the United Sanctuary color. I think Tsukiyomi was, like, one of the reasons why we should have, like, stayed to the, like, original color for that unit. Because mm, on the yeah. sleeves, she has a red-black background, and that looks insanely nice. That sleeve is really pretty. Yeah, yeah. like, a red background SVR Tsukiyomi would, would just go so hard. Mm. Yeah. But but I mean, instead, the red background, like, black if... water? But yeah, instead I mean, of your United Sanctuary, you're just cursed to uh, have what you call it. Gold just, gold background. Um piss gold. You know, yeah. hey, you like you like uh do you like Gus Blaster Dragon piss? Yeah, well yeah. compared to uh what was Phantom Blaster Dragon purple? I think Phantom Blaster yeah, was he... like green, wasn't it? Yeah, it was like a yeah, it was like a green grayish purple, green. I think. Yeah. Yeah, it was very it was very nice looking. It, com- it complemented the card pretty well. Yeah, this is why yeah. I like the uh, orange perfect riser. Oh yeah, orange perfect riser is so nice. You know, yeah. it's not as bad as like SVR Dylana, which is grey on grey. Yeah, grey on grey. No, Same no, thing no. with like... Oh no, grey on blue, like dark bluish grey. Yeah. Similar it's, thing. it's still very ugly. Azure, yeah. PBD was also the um, gold background. Oh, oh, was it? I'm thinking the oh. base. I'm thinking the base already with going back. Oh yeah, base already. PB yeah. just looks so good. Mm. I've kind of purged the uh, the S- uh, SVR after I sold mine <laughs> out of my mind. Yep. Mm. Oh wait, speaking about VSVRs, it reminded me of VDRs, Vanguard oh. Delete Res. Oh Ooh. yes, that thing they did for one set and then immediately dropped. My favorite Vanguard Delete Res is the marker. The, the marker? Yeah, the uh, Ibuki marker. Oh. Uh, that was in the Fanga Delete Red Pack. Oh. The one What's that sure? has Ibuki hot stamped on it saying, uh, Vanish to the End. Oh! Oh, that one. Oh, that one! Yeah, yeah that okay, was. I know what that's a video, about. yeah. That's I didn't know that. I, yeah, I remember buying that card for like. 70 bucks when it was like listed for 150 on TCG. You still have it, right? Yeah, I I know I sold all my F- shiny force markers at the start of the oh, oh actually, no, I sold them all coming up to fur because this was when I was like I'm all in on fur because I thought it was a decent deck and not gonna be metal. <laughs> I, I spent I like then... I spent like I invested all my markers into getting like a very shiny fur deck. And then I did not enjoy the mirror match, and that was all it was at Neko for like the next five months. So I stole the deck to our uh, fortune by telling him, "Sell this SP fur, and the deck is yours." Wow, regrets. Uh... Yeah, and that man has won like two hundred dollars in prize money just from that one fur. He's done mm, pretty so well he, for himself. He, he has made a lot of money from that. It's good. Making money off your high rarity stuff. You're in negging? Yeah. Mm. Uh, oh, that was like what I think the thing I think the more I think about it, the alternate art of Bermuda SPs would probably be like my favorite ones. Like Yeah. Like I, okay, I, SVR Riviera was nice with a hot stamp and the zoom yeah. in art. Like 
that was like that was like when they like started changing the SVRs, right? So like, like ah uh, yes, she yeah, it was around that. Yeah, it was around uh Shin era. Shin era was when they changed all the SVRs to have the border. Hmm. Mm. I like the borders a lot. Yeah, I think the borders are nice when the unit like f- goes with it. The one thing I hate though is the Arborous SVR. Like they decided to have the pedals go out of the frame. But on like yeah. some of the pedals, they're really small, so it looks like the foil link is scratched. Yeah. Oh, so man. I look at it, and every time I shit myself, thinking, "Oh God, is this SVR damaged?" But no, it's just the art. Uh... Yep. But I, I think like, my favorite Shin era, uh, like thing like that. Well, it's not even Shin era. It was again in third set. Was the OCRs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm not a fan of the new fur outfit in V, but oh my god, that OG, let's go. Mm. Mm. Yeah, mm. that's how I feel with Teroa, to be honest. OCR Teroa looks very good. Yeah. And like, it also, like, it lets them give them new outfits while also being like, hey, you want the old one? Here you go. It was just, <laughs> it was just Owa, but better. Yeah. And like, I find it weird that they only did it for Bermuda. They didn't bother doing it for any other clans. Well, was I mean, that's just the last, it was it was in the yeah. last like yeah non clan like, collection set though. Yeah, like not the, just the, the OCR thing. Like the whole like old heart yeah. SP gimmick. Yeah, it was really wasted just being on Bermuda only. But I mean, like we did have Iron Mars, which you know they're kind of sick. Outside of the Ren one, which has two what left hands. Mm. It was like two left hands on the Ren. Uh, people lost their mind for the Misaki Lozen- Lodgens Maz- Magus and like, oh, Lozengi Magus. And I became slightly salty at that because my Erla Sylvia was no longer the shortest SP. Unfortunate. Yeah, I went from being like one line exactly to now the shortest SP is when ride, draw a card. Not even quickshield text back then. As yeah, well. it didn't have the quickshield text. That's why it won. Yeah, man. Yeah, there's Iron Mars, and now we got DSR, which is like kind of nice. I really like the current DSRs a lot. Yeah. And on the Cause... reverse SPs have like the uh, red at the bottom. Oh, the oh, red yeah, that is so nice. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it, makes, it helps make a lot of them pop. Like, yeah. again, I'm just jumping back to Nova's here. SP Ethics Reverse? The card's bad, but it looks so cool, man. I think Pretty. like a lot of reverses, the art pops off so hard. Yeah. And like the red on the uh, like name makes the effect pop out so much more of the art. Yeah. It's like, oh wow, I can feel the unit. I can feel I'm becoming Epic Buster Reverse. Yeah. Time to discard two to re-stand and attack my opponent's vanguard. Time to lock my entire front row on attack. Time to cause an infinite loop in premium. Not no more, unfortunately. L plus oh, ratio. Yeah. L plus ratio. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Actually, yeah. another... You you bought a... Um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, X, XVR? XVR oh, yeah, XVRs. <laughs> oh, XVRs are a weird one, man. Mm-hmm. They also came in a weird set, because it was like, what, we had XVR The End and XVR Harmonic, so, you know, those make sense. And then we just then have... Valiant? Who are you? Yeah. Imagine, imagine, you know, you roll the god box, you get that XVR, you look at it, and it's spinning Valiant. Hey, you bought one, though. Yeah, I did, because I hate myself. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Never forget, they could have just substituted Spinning Valiant for, like, Mr. Invincible, and could we have been... still would have had, like, a hero XVR for the deck, yeah. but that hero was an iconic unit. Yeah, like, because, you know, people love Mr. Invincible, man. Oh, yeah, people still want him. Yeah, people still want him in Vera to yeah. this day. In- instead, we got his antagonist, whatever his instead, name is. Instead, we got your Beyblade, Beyblade, uh, let it rip. What's the, like, red Mr. Invincible they made in V? Was it, like, Dr. Ang- uh, Dr. Angstrom. Oh, yeah, Dr. Angstrom. I love that. <laughs> is that his actual name? Yeah, yeah, he's yes. Dr. Angstrom. 
Oh, you're Mr. In, you're Mr. Invincible and Miss and uh, Doctor Angstrom. Yeah. Oh my. We also yeah. let's uh, let's just pray for the homies that bought XVR spinning felons on release for like a hundred fifty. Uh, yep. And then how, how much did you buy yours for? Else? Like twenty, didn't you? Yep. <laughs> it's like twenty thirty US. Yep. Hey, mm. to be fair. The scans do not do that card justice yeah, it, at all. It, it looks so do good. it justice. Because so I got good. my friend to, I got my friend to um check through the cards before he got us sent off, and I had a look at it. I'm like, hold on, can you hold that to the camera? That fucking looks so pretty. Oh. Such a shame that de- the card is Garbo. Nah, bro. Next Glan collection. I'm betting you <laughs> superior ride spinning valiant. It's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, superior right spinning valiant that gets bought out. <laughs> yep. Speaking of cards that look a lot better, like in person, the zero PLs, they look so much better in person they did than they did in the photos I was sent. Yep. Like, oh, uh, this was like what twenty twenty, like when I was waiting for my zero PLs to arrive from Japan, the person who shipped them to me, because uh, this is before Game Studio was like, you know what, people outside of Japan exist. Yo, real. So I had to get someone in Japan to ship him to me. And he was like, Ayo, hey, these look kind of nice in person. I, he sent me a phone, like, wow, these look kind of ass. Got him in person. Wow, these are pretty good. Because which zero PRs did you want? Because when I first, I met, when I first the, met you, you yeah. had Maelstrom. You got Maelstrom. I had the Maelstrom, and I'm blinking out on the other one. Uh, um, it wasn't Chaos, was it? It was Chaos. Joker? Yes. Yeah, yes, it was it, it, it was chaos. It was chaos. Mm. Yeah, because uh, when Joker was revealed, that was when I like started losing my mind at zero and stopped. Like, what you got? Uh, Blast of Joker uh, season for zero was when I was like getting to the point where playing the game made me want to slam the desk. Ooh, my god. Mm. Like, before that, I was like, I was kind of pulling my hair out, but I was never like going to hit things. Got out before I got uh, before you got too mad at the game, yeah. Respectable. I mean, I got out before that, but then you know, set two barrel magnets. I threw that deck against the wall. Yeah. Oh yeah, just, you did, didn't you? Yeah, one night of just playing against PBD and just getting my ass beat, it really tilted me. Tilted towers. Oh, bro. Fortnite, Goku. Fortnite, hey, Goku. Kamehameha. Kamehameha, real? Kamehameha. <laughs> I love Vanguard. Uh, I love Vanguard. Don't we all? I especially mm. love Vanguard when I buy things and neg so hard. Oh, yeah. My negs. Your negs. Oh. Mm. How about we start with the man who doesn't neg? Mr. Pease. What yeah, neg have you bro. taken? Zero, my dude. <laughs> <laughs> Never take an L no more. Nope. Uh, heck, my SPV Victors, I bought them for like half the price they are now. Yeah. I I, I refuse to believe this man has like never negged when getting SPs. It's insane. No, nah, I, I just know when yeah. to get them, bro. And then you have me, uh, four tier release. I'm like, 250 sounds like a pretty good deal. It's probably going to go up in price. It's like 70 USD now. <laughs> <laughs> I w- oh, what you call? I was At least offered- you can play your card. Yeah, I was offered two more forty LSRs for like I think a hundred twenty each early in the week, but this was right after I spent six hundred on Shaman King, so I could not. Pain. On forty, anyway. <laughs> but the- I-, I I can't blame you. That art is really nice. Mm. Mm-hmm. She comfy. She's like mirror. She's comfy. She comfy. She's very comfy. Yeah, she really does look like Mirai, though. I'm still tempted to buy uh, one JP for my collection, just so I can open my binder. Be like, oh, it's, yeah. I've got, like, my what about, anime what about your legs, buddy? <laughs> oh, my legs. <laughs> uh, 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 so, I negged 800 Aussie dollars on a 4SP tra. Because <laughs> <laughs> how did that go for you, then? 
Oh, um, I bought them before they got banned, and then the big ban list happened, and then when Tra happened, I think, I think I can distinctly remember me slamming the desk for about half an hour. Yep. <laughs> and yeah, screaming. We, were in, we were in voice chat when that happened. Oh, uh, you can oh. you can actually hear my pain. Yeah. Because I remember what happened was like I think two months ago, or like the month before, we did our first big TCG order, and. Hmm. You were delaying it because you wanted to get your trials. And we were like, that's fine. Mm-hmm. You finished no, your trials. Just that. Yeah. It took yeah, it two like, months for it to get to Australia as well because we shipped it in the most ineffective way, inefficient way possible. Mm. And it's like, and like, that was like a few weeks before you got your final trial, like a few weeks before the ban list. And I remember the ban list hitting and you just despaired. Yep. Maximum I despair. I hit like a, I hit like a. What was that? Um, I can't remember what game it is. When you hit like a mag- maximum negative emotion, it's just like everything bad just happens. That was me at that moment. I'm like, damn, eight hundred dollars down the actual drain. Yeah. If you were Sims, you would have killed yourself. <sighs> oh, it's not oh, really that. Sorry, I mean, I bought- death would have came for you. <laughs> mm. I would. I would have redacted, redacted, redacted. Yes. Ah, yes. uh, but not only that, I spent a collective like five six hundred dollars on legendary idol Riviere SPs as well. Oh yeah, the watermelon uh, one. Yeah. I I don't regret I don't regret those. I reckon that might be my second favorite art in Vanguard in general. Oh, she's it's so such cute. a good art. Yeah, she's, she's so not cute. Not. She's I think cute. out of like she's the swimsuits, I think that's my favorite because it's not like. It's not any sort of like dangerousness. It's just cute. Oh, she's cute. Have you seen that? Have you seen that lyrical three, bro? Yeah. Michu. I mean, me too. Yeah. Rebel <sighs> guns. Yeah. Guns. No, that's, that's the most dangerous one of them all. She's near water. Yeah. She could. Yeah, she could <laughs> like. Had, like how did yeah. she get clearance to bring her guns into her school? Uh, she built it in the school. Yeah. And she's also allowed to carry them around if you build it in a school. Yeah. That's why. Extra credit, bro. <laughs> she's, she takes she's, like, um, a, she, she's she takes doing, like uh, a woodwork. Woodwork? She takes woodwork and like she made those in woodwork and the teacher's like, you know what? You get a high distinction. I can respect it. No, she's, she's you know, you know how Lyrical was an idol school, right? Yeah. She she's an idol school with um with a minor in uh mechanical engineering and fireworks. Oh no, she's an idol uh FPS Russia. <laughs> <laughs> so, they, Didn't he go to jail? T- uh so. yes, he did, yes. Uh, I like what you we don't know Michi's voice, but since she's from Brandgate and you know if, like how Brandgate's image is like them in like a snowy place. That's just <laughs> that's just yeah, Brant's Russia. So yeah, she's program have a Russian, Russian accent. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and like yeah. <laughs> and uh, and whenever she goes on stage, she's like, Hello my comrades. You look comrade. He today, is is my, <laughs> t- today is my new cannonball. Boom. I have this mermaid beside me. Why? I don't know. I have I have this uh I have this other girl. She doesn't talk much, but she says forty nine eighty a lot. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. You know, speaking uh, of forty nine eighty, should we like go on to, you know, a bit of WGP talk now and maybe a bit of BCS? Hmm. Mm. Yeah. So what have you been boys been doing for uh, BCS prepping? Because we've got our dates announced recently for. Uh, I, f- I feel Australia, like a lot of us it's figuring out decks for like what we're gonna play. Is like, set is lyrical legal for this? Uh, uh, lyrical will be legal. Yes. Uh, so the issue is like, like I'm even having a tr- issue figuring out what I want to play because I'm not going to take it seriously. I go to tournaments to just mess around to chill. If I end up topping, yeah. I end up topping. Like how in 2019, I went 5-2 and bubbled out of top 8. With Katrina, I didn't care because I'm just there to have fun. Even though I will admit I was tilted because 
round six, I fought an Alfred who opened all four Tanas. And in round seven, I fought an Ezel who opened three Wonder Ezels. When the was superior your... is ride. Was that your yeah, losses was... for the day? Yeah, that was my losses for the day. Very round yeah. six, round seven. Just get high rolled. Actual pain. I'm like, you know what? Fair. Bang. It's like, even I'm having an issue figuring out what I want to play for D, because I'm judging uh, fee and premium. Because so you, 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 can not, you cannot pay me to play those for an entire day. Uh, so yeah, I want I, to take I, I Eugene, understand. but Eugene has not gotten any proper support since set free. Okay, what if I what if what if you enter uh, you enter premium premium right, and mm-hmm. as soon as you enter premium, you get confirmed triple ray Eugene support in set eight. Oh, only if no. you enter premium. I'm judging premium. Well, you can stop judging premium and play. You can be like, hey, yo, I'm, I'm playing now. But I like my judge PRs. I like to get my judge compensation of two two boxes and then spend it immediately on a collab set. <laughs> That's this what guy. I did with Spring Fist. I got two boxes of uh, Ragnarok. Were they worth it? Yes. I now Good have team. the strongest loser. History's yeah, strongest loser. World's strongest, history's strongest loser. It's not world's strongest loser. It's history's strongest loser. Thank you very much. Uh, did you pull the card that had the clan? Ah, uh, yes, uh, that was in the trial. Uh, I have four of it. Mm. I also have shuffle the restand in SP. You shuffle, shuffle the restand. Re yeah, I got the trial yeah. deck, and I bought. I pulled that into the trial deck. Like, yeah. Well, okay. That's for my preparation for BCS. Full time work is a pain, so I don't even know if I'll be able to make it in for premium or V. But if I do play for standard, it's probably just going to be Kyrie. I feel comfortable enough with that deck that I can get there, yeah. even if I have to spend two hundred bucks on a playset of a necessary grade one triple rare. I mean, don't forget, bro. Do you have all the boys? He will give you that grade one to use, and also it's two weeks after, so you have time. Yeah, without a doubt. Yeah. And the, you don't have skewed, like really skewed ratios like uh, Japan has. I oh, yeah. yeah. we'll get like, like six to seven at least. Yeah, like at least it's two weeks as opposed to one day. <laughs> <sighs> the, oh, the one day the before. two weeks is like such a blessing. Yeah, it's it's a great thing. It also kind of mm. hurts, because not only have I got to prep for BTS, I've also got to prep for Final Fantasy Nationals. Man, this is just, this is just my year when it comes mm. to card games, isn't it? Yeah, bro. Welcome back to to full swing. Yeah, yeah I man. The BCS prep for us, since it's still two months away, a lot of us are still just figuring out decks. Mm. Yeah. And just... also, we're still waiting to see, are we going to get, like, the Craig Cross epic promos with, in time? Yeah. Oh, because if you get that in, you got to worry yeah. about Eva. Because, um, yeah, we got to worry about Eva. Next month, we should get the next promo pack. And right now, I'm expecting that next promo pack would be to have the Bavsagra PR as well as the Grey Cross Epic PRs because those were said to be coming shortly after they were uh, announced. Hmm. Like, on the weekly points they were revealed in, they said, hey, these are going to be coming in the future. So yep. I'm like, you know what? Seven months, like half a year after, I expect it. Yeah. Because you're, because if you're following um the pattern that we have here, your next PR pack is the Cray Cross Epic. Yeah. So PR it should well. be that, which I'm hoping for, because then I can play Chaos and Rorua again. Yep. And not have them be just pain incarnate. Like... Yes. Mm. And also just Actually, talking about that reminded me that I now have your build. Yeah. Oh, true. You, know, you could yeah, play I that. Just, yeah, you know, I kind of spent $600 on all these Shaman King decks. So I should, you know, maybe play one. Deck's good. Yeah. Deck's yeah. very good. Yeah. I mean, I also was thinking, like, just going to BCS of uh, Silver and just being like, all right, uh, do you have PG? Oh, is it the, the, the one that can, like, 6 crit on grade 2? Yes, 6 crit, 60k. Uh, within, like, 5, like, 7 games, I managed to get it out of 5 times. Is it that consistent? Or is it uh, I was just opening the nuts a lot. It's just, okay. I feel like it's more closer to 50-50. Yeah, 
So you That's just awesome. need to just do that every single game in our BCS then. Well, yes. Yeah. Easiest, easiest also, game to your like, life, man. What like my idea behind this all just I do that I beat someone and like I just lose the rest of my games and the entire record is ruined. You are the worst kind of person. You Actually, know, right? know, evil, bro. <laughs> Do you, do you forget, like, I enter locals on weekends and I'm going to work just to fill up numbers, and then I drop. You play one round, win. Oh, and yeah. then Sometimes drop. I get to play two. Uh, uh, depending yeah, on how we... fast everyone finishes. Yes. Yeah. Like, I've slowly stopped because, like, I've just realized I can't even play two rounds because everyone takes, like, 30 minutes to finish one round. Yeah. And I'm yeah. like, wow, everyone's just so slow. No, it's just that I finish too fast. Bro, you don't call him a minute man for nothing. <laughs> Bro, I play Asha in V, and now I play Silver in D. I'm finishing my rounds in like five minutes. Yeah, but what is it with you and just crit crit? I mean, I say that, and I think the last Asha game I played was in tournament, and it took the longest. Yep. Because, yep, which is... Gotta love it. Yeah, you know, we've been derailing a bit, so uh, what happened at, uh, you know, that that fancy WGP, huh? What happened to all that testing you said you wanted us to do and we never tested? Look, I only tested against grade 4 Bruce uh, and grade 3 and 4 Bruce. Shout out to uh, shout out to Say So for literally being the only person who'd be on, like, when I asked to test him. Yeah. Because like, you get I, home I, way too late. Yeah. Like, it's like, already late for us here. Yeah, like, it's like what, normally when I get you guys? Yeah, when, normally when I get home from work, I, like, pass out. Hmm. I, I pass out, or I, like, I'm barely alone. Like, you know what, I can last an hour. Yeah. Yeah, well, well, Mr. Pease was on while we were testing, but we kind of just ended up just watching me play the entire time. Yeah. But you know what, yeah. it doesn't even matter, because look at what you did. You went, what, 7-2 the entire day? Uh, it was it was seven rounds total, so it was five two. Five two. Five and then two top the cut. entire day. Oh no, it was a five two, oh, two no. including top cut. Oh okay. So what it was, it was four rounds of Swiss, mm-hmm. where our team won every single one, every single round of Swiss. Um, but ironically, I my two losses for the day were in the very first round against Leonorn, which I got. Uh, he, he my opponent my opponent healed on six. And then oh. OT'd me. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. And I'm like, the OT didn't kill me, but it put me in such a bad position that I kind of just lost the next turn. Because hmm. Stoike OT drawing two cards? Oh, good. Yeah, draw two cards, heal one, get crit, get 10 get front, front row. And get... Like, it is uh, probably easy. one of the more stronger OTs because it does everything. Hmm. Mm-hmm. It's just good. It just hits everything. Okay, um, so and you then, lost round one and then you lost your top card, didn't you? I lost in finals because uh, my opponent, true, yeah, not yeah. only did my opponent play really well, but I bricked. True, yeah. I bricked. Oh, you got, and I had you know a you still got turn. a respectable second. I got a respectable second, yeah. But um, what I ha- what happened is when I, I, sh- I mulligan three, so I kept an Eileen and I kept a Laploom. Uh, I drew. I can't remember what I sent back. I think I sent back a kill, a crit, and something else. Kill, crit, and I think PG because I'm like I. I need to see my other pieces. Uh, draw in this. Uh, it's like front crit OT in that order. I think I'm pretty sure it was either crit or front first. But I remember the last card I drew being OT, and I'm like, oh, this is not good. Yep. And my opponent was playing PB PBD or uh, PBO, so they could rush me from the start as well. So I'm like, mm, maybe I should. Maybe, maybe I should have lost junk in. Then my hand would have probably opened a little bit different. Mm. Oh well, what can you do? Oh, get him next time. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I got Yokohama in two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. Actually, yeah, but yeah, you have a double one. Yeah, and yeah. we're uh, and speaking about prep, um, I'm going down to Tokyo on Friday, uh, Friday night because we're celebrating. Um, uh, one of the one of the boys getting getting some uh, nice achievements in life. Uh, someone's birthday, and then I've got a, then we're boot camping on Saturday, 
but I have to dip around yeah. three o'clock to go to a Nakashimiki birthday event. <laughs> because of course, <laughs> yeah, that, that's that was planned. That was was planned months in advance. You guys heard me buy that. T- you guys probably yeah. in voice chat when I bought that ticket. Yes. And yes. the last one was uh, then I finished at seven. Then I think we're entering a Dogma Cup on Sunday. Mm, okay, it's pretty good. Which I need to ask Chris for details for because he was the one who asked me to come. He's like, "Oh, we can see if you can stay down for an extra day and uh, go to Dogma Cup." I'm like, "Yeah, I'll do that if I can stay at um say uh, one of the boys' place every night." It's pretty so, cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So not only am I going to be probably drunk on Friday night and feel <laughs> grog bogged on the Saturday, we're going to test while grog bogged, and then while grog bogged, I've got to go to a birthday event. For my queen, I simp, I kneel, and then go back to testing afterwards, and then we got to play thing on the weekend. Oh. No, you're doing a lot of things. Yeah. It's better mm. than staying in my apartment all day, honestly. Well, yeah, man. And speaking about a lot of things, there's a lot of things being released currently. You know, we have a lot of product. We, mm, yeah, we, we have in English, product. we have Shaman King releasing this weekend when we're recording. We have our set six in the trial decks next month. We have lyrical three uh, in November. And then what else? We have uh, BT7 reveals happening, which is showing very promising stuff for a lot of decks. BT7 will be coming up before we have our WGP in Tokyo. So that's another set we've got to test as well. Mm. Oh, boy. And also, don't forget the Chrono Jet Stride deck. Mm, I'm very, mm. very, like, I'm very cautious about that. I wouldn't say something is something to completely ignore, but I feel yeah. like it might not be as strong. It might not be as strong as considering that, like, it's retraining some old stuff. Yeah, we can't. Yeah, yeah like, we can't. We can't sleep on it yet because we don't know like most of the cards. But you also can't disregard it. I feel like it's yeah. gonna be like a, a sleeper choice. Yeah, yeah I definitely. feel like it might be similar to your in like it's a good deck, it's just not gonna be popular. Well, I mean, I think I mean, people but yours is actually popular. Yeah. yeah, people will play it because it's Chrono Jet. Yeah, that's basically it. Oh, sure. and we got diversity cut, so um, yeah. people will be playing it like as their flex spot. Mm. Because oh, you um, only play one of each different nation for your teams. Yeah, uh, we can't... We, I mean, it's, it's the same for you guys. We kind of have the same... Is it the same ride line, or...? Uh, we kind of have the same grade three. Oh, really? Yes. You can have, like, the same nation? Uh, for one of, yes, we can have the same nation, and I'm pretty sure we can also have the same ride line. So say, for example, we have an entire Dragon Empire right, uh, lineup. We can all have, be playing the Bavsagra 0123. I mean, 012. Huh. Yeah. No, I'm going to double check right now. Yeah. Now everyone on uh, Dream Nibbler, Ranker Chain, Black Tears, Husk Dragon, and then Grade 3 of choice. Oh, yes. Fireberg, uh, Normal Grave 3 Sorga, and uh, Grave Equal Sorga. Yeah, Grave Sorga, yeah. Oh, you got Fireberg, Sorga, Sorga. <laughs> yeah, Fireberg, Sorga, Gravy Train. Uh, no, right, you, uh, you do Fireberg, Sorga. Uh, not Fireberg, Sorga. You do um Flagberg. Grade, um, grade three Magnolia, and Roa. <laughs> no, no, I've, I've got it, I've got it. Flagberg, Roa, Ruination. Okay, yeah. so uh, our, <laughs> our rules for standard teams is that you cannot have the same grade three unit any in the ride deck. Also, oh, it? it's you can have the same grade three unit in another team, it's main deck or ride deck. Hmm. Yeah, so, I, like for example, you it. can't play Sorga in your ride deck, and your teammate plays Sorga in their main deck. Hmm. Damn. Wait, that means you can't play the yeah. end in uh, UG in the end. Oh, my dreams of Highlander Stoikea are dead. Hmm. Can't do three Highlander decks with different grade threes. Doesn't that make Chaos, like, really fucking bad? Uh... Really? Yes. If you have a dragon, no, not really, actually. Because you no, don't play the other bosses. Play other bosses yeah. I yeah. mean, you can play Barrow, but it's like, 
It's not needed, so you can just. At that take point, it you out. just play Barrow. At that point, you just might as well play Barrow. Yeah. No. no I mean, yeah, chaos is cooler cool. and all, but like I can fix him. I can fix him. You, can you say, say that about month. everything, man. Yes, I know. What if you fix something? You can't even fix your chair. What do you mean? Exactly. You don't even My know what I'm speaking. Fine. It's not fine. You're sitting I'm... in it. I don't fix things. I cope really hard until Bushiro finally gives me a good grade three. See also <laughs> war deity. Anyway. Oh it only really took me how many uh... yeah. So what decks are people building from like newer sets? Are you building anything from set seven, Ayrton? Um probably upgrading Jiva. Yeah, you're just upgrading decks and not building any of the new ones. Yeah. Mystic's no boy. Um, I'm probably um, gonna upgrade Jiva. Maybe commit to Leonon finally. Like, I wanna, I wanna build Youth. I wanna build Leonon, but it's just too expensive at the moment. Like, yeah. between having to buy the Leonors themselves and the Youthbergs, both Youthbergs, even though I already have two two Gusts, so that's like what I have to buy. It's just a lot of cards, a lot of money. It's looking quite rough for me as well in the future because like. Right now, I know before Shaman King dropped, I said I can only like, I should only get one or two decks because I have too many. And right now, I have friends, Laurenel, Baron Magnus, Chaos, Nirvana, Eugene, Overlord. And now I have every Shaman King deck except Tal Ren and John. So that's another seven. So that's 14. Uh, in Set Free Lyrical, I'm building Michu. In set six, I'm building Leonor and Heroes. That's seventeen. Oh, and in set put seven, I'm here. building Heroes. Just want to put this out here. Um, uh, Mister Tanks here said he he'd buy uh four uh, what uh DSR Leonors. He did say he'd buy four. I said I would buy four LSR forties. Look where I'm at now. I said yeah, I would well, buy four LSR Leons. I said I'll I'm buy going to four hold you at gunpoint. Me too. So you buy your, uh, so you buy the Leonors. I say I'm going to buy all these things, but I won't. Instead, I'll get one and call it a day. Nance just wants to neg over glimmery cardboard. Yes, glimmer is what they do. Like a lot of my uh, decks just have an SP of the grade three, and like then I just call it a day now. Hmm. I mean, I guess I'm in a better spot because I've only really committed to Stoikea. Yeah, you like, know. You... Were you going to build Heroes? I was debating it, but then I'm like, eh, no, it doesn't really feel like my kind of deck. Just pick up whatever like... helps in Premium Victor. Yeah, <laughs> yeah pretty much. The issue as well with a lot of us is like, we have a lot of people saying they're going to build decks, and then it deters a lot of us from building decks because we have like six people say, Oh, yeah, I'm going to build this. Yeah. How many people are building Michu? Uh, Out of all. Just Kairos and I. Oh, really? I thought yeah. more. Yeah. I mean, no. yeah. I just it's leave more, it to you it's guys. More, uh, Jujured on, Re on Reveal, we had like eight people say they're going to build it. Mm. Same with Youthberg. Yeah. I feel like people who committed to Youthburg are probably going to do it, though. Like, Yeah. Yeah. Youthburg's very nice. From what I can yeah, tell. there's like three people I see 100% building Youthburg. There's only one person I know that's 100% building Jujuled, which is, uh, you know, Mr. Cesar with his fully SP Trigus. As he do. Yeah. As he do. And then, like, that's all of us building Leonorn. Like, yes. We are going to be fighting for blood. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Actually, hey, what can you do? I mean, going into Lyrical 3, I guess I'd just be building Letitia and upgrading Kyrie, really. <laughs> I feel like Letitia is going to be an issue to build because a lot of people are like, ooh. Everyone's like, oh, Dark Elf with uh, big monster wabos, me wanty. <laughs> I'm just monster like, monster like, wabos? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> the Brit in me is like, oh my goodness. But, but yeah. But, but, but or. <laughs> yeah, or but, you glass of water. Anyway. Now that we've been but, thoroughly cancelled by everyone. Uh, <laughs> uh, questions? Yeah. Oh, questions. Questions. Do we just wrap it up with a question? Mm, questions? 
Uh, Actually, no, before we do that, wasn't I going to do the like live reaction to the soup? Oh, yeah! The okay. Babsagra soup image! <laughs> Alright, you don't get the no, question what, while, I, while I get the image up. So, there's this uh, image being floating around of um, what we'll colloquially call the uh, Babsagra soup image. Uh, and Onja it is... It is nowhere near as bad as like I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a hell of a lot worse. Yeah, people like have gassed it up to be something like horrible to look at. I have never seen it yet. Um, I, I haven't even heard of it until now. So like, yeah, cool. It was like, let me go. It, it just it was a small image of a cat that had an inf- a slightly inflated stomach being held up. Babs oh. hair on top of it, and it says "full of soup." Oh, I see. Yeah, it wasn't that bad, is it? Mm. It's There's not worse as things. bad as people made it out to be like. Exactly. But it's also... Mm. I don't like it. <laughs> I'll no, just say that. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> it like, it's nowhere near as bad as like everyone else is making it out to be. I'm feel looking like... at... I am looking at the tags... <laughs> Wait. Yeah. Oh, I, I didn't look at the tags. I don't uh, want to look at the tags. Yeah, don't look at them. They're not the best. It's like... But, uh, yeah, anyway, what's the question? <laughs> oh, the questions. I, 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 I sent out the tweet just before we started this. Just before we started this. Um, yeah. We have three. Oh, no, oh, yes. We have three. We have three. I'm ignoring your one. <laughs> oh. So you I'm ignoring you. the question about soup. <laughs> oh. I'm just talking about super chats. Super chats? Yeah. All right. Uh. We, we have our first question uh, by Faisal. Um, is is a hot dog a sandwich? Oh my god! Yes. Mm. Well, actually, it depends. So, this is something I always fear of. Like, is a hot dog a sandwich? Is the ocean soup? I say it depends on the type of bun you use for a hot dog. If you use, and also depends, like, does the bun you're using rip halfway through? Because if it rips halfway through, then it becomes a sandwich. If you're using, like, a hamburger bun, it's a sandwich. If you're using a slice of bread, it's a hot dog. So does that mean uh, a subway, a subway, a sub? Because they don't cut all the way through. Is that a hot dog? Uh, yeah, it could be considered a hot dog. Or what oh you gosh. could do is consider a hot dog a roll. But normally a roll is also constituted with like lettuce and that, and you don't normally put lettuce yeah, if, on a hot dog. Yeah, if you cut you, through the roll, that makes it a sandwich, doesn't it? Yeah. I feel like roll. like like. I feel like you still it's, call it a hot dog. It's yeah, just it's still like, categorized yeah. as a sandwich. Yeah, it's like it's like a Venn diagram. It's like it's, it's, a, Venn diagram. Own, it's a Venn diagram. Like hot dog is like its own circle at the top, but then you have like sandwich and then a roll, and they all overlap a lot. I might need you to draw this one for me. Yeah, later. I can draw it later. But, yes, yeah. draw it for my me view, later, please. I guess my view on this is if it's a sandwich, it's got to have two bread. No, that's also a fair way to do it. That's like, does does the bread ripping in half or halfway through become a sandwich then? Because it's now two separate pieces of bread. Yeah, if you got two bread, it's a sandwich. Doesn't matter how, doesn't matter where. All right. So All right. what about two separate lasagnas being stacked on top of each other? Well, that's that just ain't giga bread, isn't it? Is that is that is that now just a mega lasagna? A giga lasagna. Okay. Yeah. I've had people say that's two, but. It's, it's still one now. It's just bigger. So what that? What would you call a Big Mac? Because it's got three bread. Yeah, it's still a sandwich. A Big Mac. A sandwich. A it's sandwich. A sandwich. No, it's a sandwich. It's a sanger, bro. It's a sanger. <laughs> uh. All right. Next question, I guess. Uh, we have one by uh, Matt. O four one six Ronan. Oh. If you store oh, yes, a Pokemon. If you store a Pokemon in a PC, is it now a Digimon? I feel like this is a fortune question. 
Yes, it is. Yeah, the answer to that is yes, because it's no longer in your pocket. It's now in a digital realm. Technically, yes. Yeah, it's like, technically, yes, but actually, no. Mm, Two distinct franchises, but on a technical level, maybe. Yeah. Mm. Technically, it's now a digital monster, but in reality, it's still a pocket monster. Yeah. I mean, well, then again, in the recent games, you keep a PC in your pocket anyway, so, like, I guess it stays the same. Yeah. Mm, true. True. It's... And we have our last question by Tatsuya Orimura. Smooth by S- Santana. Yay or nay? I need to give this a listen. Yeah. Well, you haven't heard it before? Yes. 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 And not say that I. And it's just like the ocean under yeah, the I moon. I say it's a yay. It's a yay. <laughs> The same a state of motion that I... Wait, is that, is that the... It's the hot one one? Yeah, yes. it's a hot one. Uh, I've only heard the it's a hot one version, so I can't vouch for it. Well, it's a hot one. It, it must be a hot one, then. It must yeah, be a hot I, one. Yeah, I say it's a... <laughs> is it yay? Yay, Miko. Yay, Miko. Yay, Miko. Oh, I... Ah. Nah, I'm, I'm calling it at that. I'm calling yeah, it Yeah, no, nah, that's nah, the you, end of that. <laughs> you've irreparably ruined this now. <laughs> we, we've destroyed everything we have. Pack it in. Pack so it I in. The hole I met reference in, I got the Genshin reference, what else? Oh yeah, but you know, it's not as good as Freebird. <laughs> Your Freebird memes won't work on me anymore. I've ascended. Uh, uh... Alright, just give it a second. I'll find. Oh, you'll I'll, send, find you'll... One, I'll find the one of the with the raw chicken going inside the uh in, inside the washing machine again. Oh god! Oh no! Look, that one got me off guard. That one got me off guard. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right, but anyway, that's been this chaotic version of the card fighters couch. Yep. Oh, this is a warning no. to never have us free again. Yep. It's just never put uh, you and me in the yeah, same room. It's it's like yeah, a, you two it's in like, the same room. Yeah. It's like these students in class are like had to be separated by the teacher every time. Yeah. Like yeah, just them. Mm. Yeah, you two together is like chaos. Add me in. It's like just straight up disaster waiting to happen, man. <laughs> <laughs> yes it is. <laughs> oh no. Uh, uh, who thought this was a good idea to put us oh my through God, the you, two you at the did. Same time so cute. I didn't suggest putting all three of us in here at the same time. Well, you're yeah. hosting it, so I'm blaming you. Yeah. Anyway, it's you know what? I'll take I'll it. it. All right. So this has been episode five of the Card Fighters Couch. Uh, if you're listening on Spotify, I don't know what to do on Spotify. So do whatever uh, you do there to follow us. us. Follow follow the podcast and make sure you like watch the entire thing so you can go like wow people love this. Yes. Yeah. Uh, if you have questions, uh, drop it in the comments on the YouTube video. Like and subscribe. Um, tell uh, tell us which one of us was the worst person in this. Yeah. Please. <laughs> yes, please do. But anyway. This is Ayrton for Lootville TCG. Did I even mention it was Lootville TCG at all this entire time? No. Hey, well, now you know. Well, now you know. Well, now you know. It's through Ayrton from Lootville. Bro, you're Ayrton from Lootville TCG. I thought you were Ayrton from Different Fight. You're real? 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 (laughs) Real, just like the ending. Just like the ending. Bye, people. (laughs) Blah, blah, blah. (laughs) Oh, my God. God.